Côte d'Ivoire, the pearl of the lagoons in sub-Saharan Africa, with 15 million inhabitants, 80% of whom carry the parasite which causes malaria. On every roadside there lies waste and stagnant water. These are the conditions forming a particularly favorable breeding ground for mosquitoes, the carriers of the disease, which predominantly affects pregnant women and children under five. It is estimated that one child dies from malaria every 30 seconds worldwide. Malaria is a scourge in Côte d'Ivoire. All of our statistics show that it is the leading reason for seeking medical care. It is one of the issues currently facing the healthcare system and is one of our greatest challenges. I believe that if we manage to solve the malaria issue, we will have solved one-third of health-related issues in Côte d'Ivoire. This was the challenge taken up in 2002 by a group of international researchers, later to become the DNDI, a foundation specializing in the research and development of new drugs for neglected diseases. Together, they managed to develop AZAC, a new combination therapy to fight the uncomplicated form of the disease. AZAC is an abbreviation of artesunate and amodiaquin. It is a fixed dose combination, an important factor, of one component, artesunate, which is a derivative of artemisinin, a Chinese plant extract, which is a component with a very rapid effect. And another product, amodiaquin, which also has an antiparasitic activity, but with a longer, prolonged duration of action. These two products complement one another. Co-developed with Sanofi Aventis since 2004, AZAC has been available on the Côte d'Ivoire market for more than six months. With a prescribing duration of three days, this treatment works rapidly and is simple to use. A single tablet a day for infants, young children and adolescents, and two as a single dose for adults. To facilitate administration even further, AZAC can be dissolved in water. In the field, it was adopted by the population very quickly. He's going to take this medication. There are three tablets, one tablet a day. He goes home, he eats well, he swallows one tablet with some water. Tomorrow at lunchtime, he takes it again. He has to take it for three days. Initially, people were not very open to change. They were used to other products. When AZAC was launched on the market, they were not familiar with it and were therefore reluctant to start. However, after a while, they understood that the drug was effective. Now, when they come here, they no longer mention previous products. They ask for the drug which is white on one side and yellow on the other, straight away. In the past, Nadezhda's son would have needed several tablets to cure his malaria attack. Now, a single tablet is enough with Azak. Effective and simple to use, Azak has made a name for itself on the market. The public health pharmacy in Abidjan, the state central purchasing agency, has even experienced stock shortages for the pediatric forms. In a total, out of the 420,000 or so treatment units delivered six months ago, only 175,000 now remain. This treatment is all the more successful as it is inexpensive and sold to countries at cost price, less than a dollar for adults and 50 cents for children. This is a real advantage considering that health is often a luxury for planters, pillars of the Côte d'Ivoire economy, who lose up to 40% of their annual income due to malaria. We were already present on the private market with Coarsicum. However, only 20% of the population had access to Coarsicum, while 80%, mostly impoverished, could not have access to treatment and were thus exposed to the scourge of malaria. It was our responsibility to provide these 80% with efficient treatment for less than a dollar, that is, at cost price. Providing access to treatment for as many people as possible is therefore a major public health challenge. One third of hospital deaths are still malaria related in Cote d'Ivoire. However, this disease is characterized by both poverty and ignorance. Theophile here is very much aware of this. He has worked as a medical information officer for more than 20 years, traveling across the country to meet with population and healthcare professionals to talk about prevention. Living in a healthy environment, sleeping under a mosquito net, the inhabitants of Cote d'Ivoire do not yet clearly perceive the link between their environment and health. 
Sanofi Aventis has thus created training and awareness raising tools, like the flip chart here, in order to inform the population more effectively. You must bring him to the health center upon seeing the first symptoms. The quicker he's treated, the quicker he'll get better. We believe that the drug alone is not enough. It is not enough to produce high-quality drugs readily accessible at reasonable cost. We also need to ensure that patients have access to information on the drugs, together with the diseases they treat. From this perspective, it is important to use training and information tools adapted to each type of audience. We have a number of tools that we make available to the malaria control programs, targeting both the upper levels of the health pyramid, i.e. experts in the field of malaria, as well as health workers, nurses, and even community leaders, each with messages adapted to their knowledge and needs. Public-private partnerships are already showing signs of effectively curbing the development of malaria. A growing mobilization is taking place around the national malaria control programs to provide populations with treatment and information, and to ensure that, in the future, health will no longer simply be a luxury.